Hi everyone, it's Travis with Keweenaw Charter Fishing. Uh, we're out here on Lake Superior today fishing for lake trout and we've got one that uh, we just brought up from a little bit deeper water and it's got a little bit of air in its belly. So I suspect just looking at this fish that we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time releasing it. Um, what I've got here is a deep water descending device. This is a device that's gonna clip onto the jaw of that fish and allow us to lower it down to the depth where we caught it and release it back at that depth which is going to give that fish a much better chance of survival versus releasing it on the surface here. Uh, where this comes into play is when you've got a trout that's full of air and he's having a hard time getting back down, or in the summertime when you've got really warm water and surface temps, uh, typically that would be anything in the upper 50s into the 60s and above. Um, so 60 and above being a very uh, difficult and nearly fatal temperature for a lake trout. Uh, we're going to take this device, clip that onto the jaw of that fish, and get him back down below the thermocline so that we can release him at the depth we caught him, where that water's colder, oxygen rich, and he's going to have no problem reacclimating. You can see here the setup. I've got a short ice fishing rod spooled up with a line counter reel and 50 to 100 pound test line. I've got the sequelizer, which is a deep water releasing device. This is a uh, pressure releasing device so when we get it down to a certain depth um, that triggers this device to release so I've got an adjustable uh, device here that allows me to turn this pin on the end uh, there's two or three indents one is uh, 50 100 and 150 depth so we can set the depth that this will release at um, right now we're in 180 feet of water so I'm gonna set this to the 100 foot setting um, if I felt it was necessary, I could set it to the 150 setting to get that fish even deeper, but uh, this fish bit about 100 feet down. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna set it to that 100 foot setting. On the end here, I've got about three pounds of weight. I've fine tuned it with some snap weights that I had in my tackle box. Um, so I've got the exact right amount of weight to get this fish back down to the depth. We're gonna clip that on his lower jaw. And when he gets to the depth of water where we want it to release 100 foot, that's going to release just like that and we're going to watch that fish swim away on the fish finder uh, no harm to them i've got the sequelizer this is a device that's going to let this fish go at the depth i set it to i'm going to clip this around the fish's lower jaw just like so and i've got roughly three pounds of weight added to this line here so you can see here that fish is kicking he's doing good I'm gonna let this guy go slowly down. There he is, about 20 feet down. Okay. One of those fish is uh, the one that came to check us out, and one of those is the one we just let go. In any case, I'm gonna start reeling my release up, and we'll see that this other fish come right down to the bottom. That's my weight coming back up. And one of those two is the fish we just let go. And there's a fish chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty smart out here, are they? <laughs> Acting like they've never seen a lure.